Hashem me. God is our refuge and strength. Welcome to the Time of Enlightenment with Pastor Richard C. Walker and Refuge Missionary Baptist Church. Our location is 8058 South Kimbark, Chicago, Illinois, 60619. Our Sunday school begins 10 a.m. Sunday morning services, 11.30 a.m. Wednesday, Bible class, 7 p.m. Thursday, choir rehearsal, 7 p.m. Come join us. Our service is already in progress. Welcome back to Pastors United. Our discussion today, uh, we are going to continue in the uh, book of uh, Proverbs dealing with old-fashioned wisdom, wisdom handed down uh, by God through Solomon uh, in the book of Proverbs. We're going to move right along into our next uh, proverb. Uh, let's see, Proverbs 12 and 24. Let's take a look at Proverbs 12 and 24, which simply states, The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slowful, meaning lazy, <laughs> shall be under tribute. I'm going to ask Reverend Bennett. Reverend Bennett, what are your thoughts on the hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slowful shall be under tribute? Tribute. That's almost like a given, you know, because a, a person who's given to do uh, usually, usually does. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be told, doesn't have to be instructed. He follows instructions wisely. If you give me, tell me to do something, I do it the way you instruct me to do it. A slothful man or a lazy guy more likely has to be forced into something. Mm -hmm. My father used to, used to say, like, uh, I tell you to do something, and then he have to tell you the second time, and he'll make you do it. And that's usually when, when, when we get in that lazy mindset. Yeah. And a lot of times because we, we don't hear <coughs> of what we're being instructed because we don't want to hear. Because first of all, because we're, we're lazy to begin with. So we don't want nobody telling us what to do or especially not how to do it. <laughs> but uh, if you, like it, when, when the, the proverb says, uh, the hand of the diligent shall bear rule, shall bear rule. I, I'm willing to work. I came to work. I'm here to receive something, but I have to be willing to give something to get it. Amen. Pastor Jones, your thoughts? Um, I, I, I agree with what uh, Elder Ben said, the diligent. Um, the diligent. The diligent is that I'm going to use the deacons. When you got the deacons of the church, if they're diligent, they don't have to tell them or give them instructions what they see need to yes. be done yes. inside of the church. They come in, they see need to be, to be done, and they go and they just automatically do it because this is a part of their job. Just like when I go to work, my boss don't have to instruct me on what to do because I've already been instructed in doing it. He don't come out and tell me every day to do the same thing or tell me or instruct me minute and moment by moment. That's but right. the hand, the hand right. of the slowful, mm. slowful, you got to lead them, guide them, and put their hands on everything mm -hmm. to do. And it's basically because they don't want to do it in the first place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Hey, <man. laughs> Amen. Hey, <man>. Gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen when, when, when I look at this verse, and I see it, the hand of the diligent, mm -hmm. I'm seeing two key words in here, in, in this uh, phrase, uh, the very first part. We'll have part A and then part B. Part A will be the hand of the diligent mm -hmm. uh, shall bear rule. Uh, part B could be uh, the lazy shall be under tribute. Mm -hmm. uh, when you talk about the hand of the diligent, the word hand expresses uh, usefulness. Mm -hmm. uh, diligent means stick to it -tiveness. Those, uh, I firmly believe that in order to be successful in anything, you have to work hard at it. It is uh, not uh, a mistake that Solomon uh, uh, says the hand of the diligent because the hand uh, represents uh, a mechanism that's mm -hmm. always working. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, the diligent means that 
not only are you working, but you'll continue to work until the job is done. Yes, sir. And, and you know what this says to me in a nutshell? It says to me that hard workers uh, are successful mm -hmm. people, but lazy yeah. people will always be at the mercy of other folk. Amen. <laughs> Look at it again. Look at it again. Amen. Hard workers will become successful. They, they shall bear rule. They shall be in charge. People who are hard workers are usually successful people. Mm -hmm. Can I get a witness? Amen. <laughs> but those that are lazy are under tribute. In other words, uh, they are always at the mercy of others. Uh, that, uh, let me just say this word lazy. Let's talk about this word lazy. Because God has a problem with this word. L-A-Z-Y. God has a problem with the word lazy. Because every time Jesus, uh, uh, whenever Jesus, forgive me, whenever Jesus picked uh, uh, chose a disciple, they were busy doing something. Yes, sir. <laughs> they were working. Mm -hmm. Peter was a fisherman yeah. by trade. That's right. You see, uh, th they were doing something. They were working. So, which tells me uh, Jesus didn't tolerate laziness. Amen. Come on now. I know he didn't tolerate laziness. Jesus Jesus was sometimes up doing the work of the Father till 5 o'clock in the morning. Yes, sir. So he was not lazy. Jesus, Jesus uh, instructed the disciples. Every time he dis instructed the disciples to do something, he always said, go do it quickly. Yes, he did. That's what he said. Why would he ask them to do that? He, Jesus... I just firmly believe that Jesus, God, and the Holy Ghost Amen. On, has a problem with this word lazy. Yes, sir. The kingdom of God cannot, the kingdom of God cannot be, uh, uh, cannot move forward down here on earth with Christians being lazy. Yeah, that's right. Can I get a witness? Amen. Being lazy. And nothing comes to a lazy person but poverty. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. So, if you're a hard worker, uh, you shall bear rule. Mm -hmm. you, shall, you shall own something. Normally, when folks are hard working, they own stuff. Yes, sir. Right. And when you own stuff, you can hire other folk to work for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But now, if you're lazy, you're always depending on others. That's right. That's right. Oops. <laughs> you're always depending on others. others and that's why I say you know I, I often say I, I don't mind members who don't have because mm -hmm. I can work with them okay. but now it's the members who don't want to have okay. there's a big difference mm -hmm. there's a big difference in you uh, uh, not having any money mm -hmm. and you, you don't have any kind of vision to want any kind of money okay. or anything to bring anything uh, uh, positive uh, to your uh, existence. And so I think it's important that we, uh, let's stay on this because I think it's important that people in TV land, gentlemen, uh, uh, know that God has a problem with this word. God has a problem. My mother had a problem with it. <laughs> My grandmother had a problem yes, with sir. it. <laughs> Amen. I know God has a problem with it. Because he chastises me when he tells me to get up and do something and I take my time doing it. He chastises me. Not because he doesn't like me, or, uh, but because he loves me. Yes, sir. And he wants the best for me. Let's talk about this word, lazy. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about uh, 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 laziness versus uh, uh, hard working. Hey, man. Uh, Reverend Bennett, let's let's talk about that because people in TV land need to know that uh, uh, that's 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 a um, uh, for lack of a better phrase that's a no no in the in the kingdom mm -hmm. in, in the in the body of Christ laziness uh, I, I I dare say it's a no no Amen <laughs> even Jesus uh, uh when he he uh, kind of reprimanded the disciples when he went off to pray. And asked him, could you not, could you not pray with me, or could you not be? Uh, uh, is, are you so sleepy? You have to, you know. Uh, <laughs> would you pay attention to what I just said? I mean, even on the job set, when we at, at work, you know, yeah. the people who work real hard usually get the promotions. Yeah. They're usually in charge of the office or something. Mm -hmm. And then there's there some people, you know, some people just just get there back on they 
uh, what, what we, especially in Chicago, you know, like the politicians, they hire their cousins and so they don't they have a clue on what to do and they don't, they don't come to do nothing. But, but usually the diligent person who works hard usually gets rewarded. That's and right. lazy right. person usually the one who's mad because he's being told what to do because he's not doing it. Yeah. I won't either you know, force or fire. Yeah. One to two. You know, yeah. laziness definitely doesn't work in any atmosphere. Yeah. Even crooks. You know, have you seen a lazy crook? <laughs> <laughs> Never. Crooks are they 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 going for everything. They're gonna take what they're gonna get and, and I think the Bible says that the violent take it by force. By force. You're not gonna get nothing sitting there waiting for it. No. That's it. Wow. <laughs> Pastor Jones, your thoughts. Um, again, when I look at the first word, it says hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In scripture, whenever we look at the word hand, it's always a sign of strength. Yes, sir. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. A, a sign of strength. And when you uh, continue to read that word, and he's talking about, he said, the hand of the diligent, which also diligent means consistent. Yes, sir. That's right. Uh, you're consistent in your way of doing things. You're mm -hmm. consistent in what it is you're doing. You know, you don't wake up this morning and because you don't feel like doing something, you just don't do it. Yeah. You know, and then tomorrow morning I do it. You know, we, you know how people do it. We, we do it if I feel like it, if I don't, I won't. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so then he says, she'll bear rule. When I look at that word, she'll bear rule, it simply means that you have a dominion over. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. have dominion over. And uh, I, I've noticed something, though. It's always the ones that don't want to do anything that always want to have dominion rule over somebody else. Yes, sir. Come on now. Come on now. Y'all might not like this, but Pastor just being honest. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Tell the truth. I mean, you know, you, they, always, they always do. It's always, you ever notice that it's the ones who are always broke? Who want to tell you what to do mm. with your money? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Yeah. And, and then they would turn around and bear with me and say, now, if I had your money. money. Yeah. Okay. Oh, your hands right there. I'll do yes, sir. This is what I do. Come on, now. <laughs> but and, and I'm also, I'm looking at this scripture. And see, I don't want to make this scripture really totally because you have to put apply God That's right. in this text. That's right. Also, because... The, the only hand that I know of that is diligent mm -hmm. consistently mm -hmm. yes. is God. Mm -hmm. That's right. God is the only one. And God is the only one that I know of that has dominion over all. Hallelujah. Amen. He's the one who has dominion over all. God is the only one that I know without a shadow of a doubt that is not slowful in anything. That's what he says. That's, That's right. why I know that when I call him he answers you. Get that. Come on now. Okay. So he's not slowful to do anything. I heard one preacher say he's quicker than that once. He's mm -hmm. a right now God. Hallelujah. You know, before I can get off of my knees, sometimes my prayers are already answered. Amen. So he's not slowful. And since we are to be imitators of Christ, mm -hmm. and since we still talk about the Proverbs, and we know that Proverbs is talking about that our Proverbs got his instructions from his father. Mm -hmm. Jesus got his instructions from his father. Yes. So That's since right. we ought to be followers of him, we ought to be followers of our mm -hmm. father. We ought to be imitators of Christ, who is an imitator of God in his actions. Hello. Okay, uh, we do know that um, that uh, Christ is uh, the, uh, the image of God in the flesh. Right. Amen. Okay, so when, we, when you're looking at that scripture, it says strength, rule, dominions, not be slow. Then he said, you shall be under tribute. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. I like that word, tribute, yeah. under tribute. Slowfulness means talking about you won't be slow and you won't be deceitful also. Amen. Yeah, that's right. Come on now. You won't be deceitful. We're looking at something, but you won't be deceitful. See, people who are lazy are easy that's to get tricked. Word. Come on now. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. That's right. That's it. Come on now. See, that's now I can, right. see, I can preach on this now. That's mm -hmm. right. See, people who are lazy <clears throat> are always looking for something Thanks. for nothing. Yes, sir. Wow. Wow. They're always looking for something for nothing. That's it. You know, wow. I, I, I don't want to uh, criticize our government, but a lot of programs that we have that assist our people, it is a good program, mm -hmm. but a lot of times it has made people lazy. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, well, that's right. Like, don't work again lazy. with you. Yeah, well, it has made them lazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm going to put it to you like this. I have a smartphone. I used to remember all the phone numbers Come on today. That, uh, that was important to me. Mm -hmm. But the smartphone had made me lazy in my mind mm -hmm. because <laughs> I'm not trying to remember the phone numbers mm -hmm. anymore. I can just pull it up on the phone. Mm -hmm. But then that makes my mind lazy. A lot of people don't read and study the Word of God because mm -hmm. they got lazy mind. Mm -hmm. And when your mind is lazy, you can be controlled. Mm -hmm. That's right. Anyone who does not read and study and use their mind is really become under bondage because they don't think. You're not thinking. And when you don't think, it's anyone can use you. And even the Lord tells us to be what? Smart as a who? He tells us to be smart as a dove. You know, wisdom. Mm -hmm. You know, not to be slowful. Uh, he teaches us to be, to, uh, to obtain wisdom and knowledge. Mm -hmm. Uh, to, to learn. As a matter of fact, pick up the book and learn of me. Mm -hmm. You know, so you have to use the, uh, God give us a brain. We must use it. You know, and to exercise our brain. And men are thinkers. God is a thinker too. You know, just uh, uh, like to comment on that last part, you know, but, uh, if the Bible said that, uh, that in these last days would be, they'd be wiser but weaker. Mm -hmm. yeah. Isn't that just obviously what's happening today? You know, we're so busy, yeah. we're so busy doing uh, everything but but studying even even in some I would say some some preaching and, and ministries mm -hmm. they they do less study than they do anything this is this, this is important yeah plus the study God's word in order to speak God's word you know and, uh, it's it's, uh, so it's very easy to interject yeah your uh, thoughts, your thoughts mm -hmm. into um, even into scripture mm -hmm. but we must remember that. Um, the scripture don't really need our thoughts. Thanks. The scripture don't, right. he gives us what God says. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, I noticed that even as the preacher was talking that uh, we we have uh, different ways that we approach preaching, like expository, textual preaching, text preaching, but we can all make mistakes in any of that. That's right. Yeah, because uh, that's why it's so important how we study the word. That's right, that's right. Faith. That's right. Oh, we need to know who's talking, mm -hmm. who we saying it to, what was the purpose behind it, and all this. Mm -hmm. okay, but when I'm looking at you know, what we talk about now, receiving wisdom, see, you can only get godly wisdom. There's different types of wisdom. That's right. That's right. That's right. The Bible speaks to that. It right. tells us that, you know. So, but if we want uh, true wisdom, mm -hmm. yeah, and I'm going to put it like this. Scripture, he says, there is a way that seems right. Come on, that right. seems mm -hmm. right. right to a man, but, but the end thereof is a way, way of destruction. destruction. Yes, so without right. God, we can't do nothing. Amen. Amen. Mm. Amen. Well, let us realize that it all comes back yes. to God. It all comes back to the cross. Yes, sir. that's it. Um, let me just say this. I have, uh, I'm what you would call a word target preacher. Okay. Um, I, 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 I dissect the, the uh, scripture mm -hmm. through uh, interpretation of, of certain words. Yes, sir. And as I do my study, I, I try not to rely on the commentary. Mm -hmm. Amen. But Amen. I get the instruction from the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. But I, let me just say this: we, I just, I just know that the word of God should be so clear mm -hmm. and precise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on now. That uh, you know that a uh, that a, a, a child should be able to understand it. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But in the end, and and I say this even in 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 my sermons, it always got the. Christ, Hallelujah. the yes, cross. Sir. Yes, sir. You can preach Mary had a little lamb, <laughs> but you better end it with that little lamb being Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Come on today. The lamb which was slain. Amen. And, and so uh, I think it's important that we realize that, uh, that we not get so caught up. That's why I don't do a lot of uh, 
reading a lot of books from a lot of authors mm -hmm. because sometimes they misconstrue the word. Yeah. You know, and I know they have mega churches and all that, and I have nothing against mega churches because I just believe that God's taking us to a place where we've never seen before. Amen. And I know he is. Amen. But, uh, but what, I'm, what I'm saying is we, have to be, we do have to be careful. And thank you, Pastor Jones, for that reminder that we don't get so engulfed mm -hmm. in the word that we forget mm -hmm. who is the author and the finisher okay. of this word yes, and Lord. our faith, Amen. which is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. So I, I thank you Lord. for that. I thank you for that, and that has not been lost mm -hmm. uh, uh, in my spirit. Amen. Um, uh, many preachers have different variations of how they preach, yes, sir. how they teach the Word of mm -hmm. God. Yes, sir. But if you get up and you preach and teach the Word of God, and you don't end it with Jesus Christ mm -hmm. being the ultimate right. sacrifice, the conduit mm -hmm. to what we are uh, uh, attempting to achieve here, on earth, and that's uh, 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 to live a godly life. Mm -hmm. if, if by chance we get to the point where we just ignore that, then we need to pack our bags and go home. Amen. Because Amen. we're just going to come together and have a meeting. That's it. Amen. And not in spiritual intervention. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 So I thank you for that, uh, Pastor Jones. I, I, you know, when you talk about diligence, I'm reminded of uh, Joseph in the 38th chapter of Genesis, yes. Joseph was diligent. Yes, very, very much so. And because of his diligence, look how he started out. He started out in a pit, in a mm -hmm. hole. Mm -hmm. You know, and his brothers were the culprit. Amen. They yeah. were the culprits of it because of their jealousy. They diligence, he ended up being second in command. Yes, sir. Of Israel. Of himself. That's right. Amen. 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 He ended up being second in command because of his diligence. Amen. So if there's an example, it ought to be Joseph. Yeah. His diligence. Even Jesus. Diligent. 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 Yes, in the Garden of Gethsemane. Yes, sir. Had a problem with what was to come. Yes, sir. But he said, not my will. Thy will. Thy will be done. Yes, sir. I think not only Oh, come on now. Come on. That's diligent. Yes, sir. That's yeah, diligent that right. to the diligent level. Yeah. Uh, and the, <laughs> amen. That's that's what you would call the act, the ultimate act yes, of obedience. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To Spider God was, the Father. Come on now. His diligence in going to the cross. Amen. Knowing what was knowing what was to come. Mm -hmm. But yet he stayed diligent. Amen. To the end. To the cross. To the cross. Hallelujah. Not the end, but to, to the, the cross. cross. It was never an end. Come on now. The end ain't the story of it. Story of it. Nah, nah, nah. I'm reminded of what Charles Stanley says all the time. He said that in order for you, uh, for in this day, to go to hell, you're going to have to trip over the cross. It, it cannot be denied. You can't look past it. It's there. I like that. You know, I heard that. I said, that just touched me. It touched my soul. <laughs> Uh, I'll like I, I say this, yes. and that is that um, the scripture tells us to study, mm -hmm. yeah. and he tells us uh, we are to seek mm -hmm. God, dig yes, like hidden treasures, mm -hmm. yes. and uh, I know that if you lost anything of value, you go look for it diligently. Yes, sir. Amen. As a matter of fact, you're going to look for it until you find it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kind of like with the parables in the scripture with the, with the lost coin. Yeah. It was valuable to her. And I would say to every Christian that's hearing me by air, that if sanctification and God is important to you, you're going to study his word diligently. Amen. Not just by chance. Mm -hmm. And listen, and the reason why I said what I said earlier is because you can't just pick up the word of God and pick a scripture and say, okay, I'm studying the scripture. You know, mm -hmm. we skip all over the Bible. Okay. No, you need to start somewhere and end up somewhere. That's right. Because if you just study scripture here and scripture there, you wind up all over the place. Yes, sir. But when we study scripture, 
you know, even in expository scripture teaching, uh, uh, preaching the word of God, we can go line upon line, precept on precept, but if we do not understand the language that it was originally written in, because we as teachers and preachers, and we have to have some wisdom to understand that we are closing a gap that's over 2,000 years ago. Come on to this right. We're closing yes, a gap. We're trying to make it an application of something that was going on over 2,000 years ago that's, that's right. where it's applicable today. Mm -hmm. that's so right. we have to close that gap. And that's going to take digital, diligently studying, digitally praying. Mm -hmm. It's going to take that. Okay, And then it's going to take not only, that ain't just for the preachers, but that's also <laughs> for the deacons. Yes, sir. I mean, right. deacons are supposed to be amped to teach. That's right. That's right. In your absence, they're supposed to be able to get up there and give a word. Yes, that's right. Get up there and just get up there and go, and they ain't saying anything. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 The dog that could howl. Yes, sir. You know, make noise, huh? <laughs> you know, he would bark and let me know that somebody was coming. Coming. But at least I can understand. Amen. 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 They still take <laughs> diligently really really studying. Amen. That's right. It does. That's it does. They take diligently studying. You know, and I, and I even related this to, to some of my uh, members of the church. And, and I, I use me, because before I really um, got into the Word of God, studying the Word of God, you know, I put other things before the Word. You know, it didn't matter. You know, if, if I had a uh, and, and I tell, like I told them in Bible class, when you start doing something, you say, well, I'm going to do this. And then something else will pop up and you wind up doing it. You still ain't picked up the book. Something else will pop up and then you wind up doing it and you still yeah. haven't picked up a book. Mm -hmm. See, we can make, you don't need an excuse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> an excuse is worse than a common cold. Come on now. Mm -hmm. You know, so we must study the word diligently. Go back. We need lexicon. We need yes. to study the Greek and the Hebrew texts That's of right. scripture. Mm -hmm. We need to study that so we can understand what it is that this individual is saying. Because I, I get, look, if you, we go back and study the book of John, John always uses a bunch of ands, ifs, and, and does. buts. He sure does. And when you, when you read the scripture, it says, but, That's you right. got to go back up to the following scripture to understand what, what is he is talking it? about. Mm -hmm. That's you know, right. Then when you go up and you say and, Okay. You got to go back and read the scripture before it and see what is that scripture that's talking right. about. That's and then right. even the word if. Because if it's really not a conjunction, but sometimes in scripture it's used as a conjunction. Mm -hmm. Because the scripture that says, if my people which are called by my name and pray. That's if. So if is used as a conjunction, but it's also used as a connection. Because of the word if also tells us that uh, you got to do something. That's right. It's a condition. And sometimes we don't want to do anything. Right. <laughs> we don't want to do nothing. But that word, if, is talking about, uh, again, it's saying, if you do this, mm -hmm. if you act, God said, I react. Because, see, Satan can get up and charm you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like a cat. God ain't into charming. No, sir. Huh. Right. God is into right. giving us godly advice. Mm -hmm. right. Now it's up to us to He's take the advice and make an application of yes, it sir. in our lives. Pastor Jones can't sweet up the word of God and give it to you. I'm going to give it to you the same way the Lord gave it to me. Now, you know, my coffee, I don't like it black. I don't like it bitter. So I add a little sugar to it. But when it comes to this word, you can't add no cream. No, you can't add no sugar. So right you got to give it come just on. the way the Lord gave it. And you must understand what it is that you give. Amen. We thank God for you, for you tuning in, listening in from Pastor United. And we are united in the Word. We believe in one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. We believe that. And we thank God for Elder Walker who started this program. We thank God for Pastor Kathy who yes, continued to carry this program full. Uh, we have some more ministers who's going to be joining us, and we're looking forward to them and their insight into God's word. And we're just trying to to give unto you and pass on some of the wisdom and knowledge that, that has, we have received from those who came before us. And we must pass it on, pass it on. Fathers must pass on wisdom and knowledge that they learn from their father to their children. Yes. That's all we're trying to do. We're just trying to pass on the legacy of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 
unto you. We thank you. God bless you. Join with us again next time as we see you. May the Lord smile upon you and keep you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Just later.